I hate to get you all out of sorts with this shocking news, but it seems that Donald Trump wants to be a fascist dictator. He wants to be an authoritarian, a totalitarian. Everything we've called him. Springtime for Hitler and Germany. How do we know this? He's telling us. He likes to share. A recent New York Times piece talks about some behind the scenes discussions between Trump and his top people about what they would do were he to win again or somehow find his way back to the White House without winning. It seems they've got plans to centralize the government and get rid of things like separation of powers and balance of power in government and diffusion of power among different branches. Accountability, the things we don't need in a democracy. This New York Times piece talks about how, quote, their plans to centralize more power in the Oval Office stretch far beyond the president's recent remarks that he would order a criminal investigation into his political rival, President Biden. That's right, we're going beyond that. That's not fascist enough. Mr. Trump and his associates have a broader goal to alter the balance of power. They're going to increase the president's authority over every part of the federal government every part of the federal government, guys, either that currently operates either by law or tradition with any measure of independence from political interference by the White House. Wow. Kneel before Zod. Wow, that seems like a smart idea for a democracy. Mr. Trump intends to bring, quote, independent agencies like the Federal Communications Commission, which makes and enforces rules for television and internet companies, and the Federal Trade Commission, which enforces antitrust and consumer protection laws under direct presidential control. It goes on to list pretty much every other agency. I think if there's an agency of how do we manage the toilets in the Pentagon, he will need to directly control that because he needs to directly control everything because he is a crazy person. Now, I know it shocks you that the guy who wanted to launch missiles at Mexican drug cartels and thought nobody would know where it came from and drew a Sharpie on a hurricane to make it seem like the hurricane was bigger than it was and hit a place it didn't hit. And the guy that asked a general if he could shoot protesters would be the type of guy to do this kind of thing. But indeed, that is Trump's plan if you vote for him. Understand if he gets back to power, there will be no 2028 election or there will be one much as there was just one in Turkey with Erdogan and there are elections with Orban in Hungary. There's an election, but if you vote for the other guy, you may not make it home. Nice little addition is the fact that Trump is now under, is been made aware he's the target of the investigation by Jack Smith, and he got very upset about that. Apparently, being a fascist also leads you to acts that are criminal, that leads a guy who's an independent prosecutor like Jack Smith to want to prosecute you, which leads you to want there to be no independence in government, as in independent prosecutors. This was a statement by Donald J. Trump, the 45th president of the United States. He was just to remind you of that, like a child. And then there's his writing. If this is not the worst fucking run-on sentence you've ever read, please respond in the comments with worst run-on sentences, I dare you. Wow, on Sunday night, while I was with my family, having just arrived from the Turning Point event in Florida, where I won the straw poll against all other Republican candidates with 85 0.7% with all polls showing me leading in the Republican primary by very substantial numbers. He just said 85.7%. Almost everyone predicting that I will be the Republican nominee for president. Sadly true. As I am leading Democrat Joe Biden in the polls by a lot. Not true. Different polls show different things. Mostly Biden winning. Horrifying news in all caps. For our country was given to me by my attorneys. This is like his 14th set of attorneys. And at this point, we've gotten to the point where it's pretty much Saul Goodman, Actually, it's really Saul Goodman's stuntman, who's his lawyer at this point. Deranged Jack Smith, the prosecutor with Biden's G DOJ, sent a letter. Again, it was Sunday night. How dare you do it on Sunday night? The Lord's Day, which, as we all know, when it's not Shark Week and you're not with a porn star, you take the Lord's Day for rest. Stating, let's get back to what he said, stating that I am the target, all caps again, of the January 6th grand jury investigation. That's right, folks. He's the target of the January 6th insurrection attack, the coup on our country. So he wants to consolidate all the power as a fascist under him, which would include this independent prosecutor, so there could never be any kind of an investigation into him again. And he has also said to us that he's the target of the investigation for trying to overthrow our government. This is absolutely somebody you want to reelect. Or should I say elect again after the ass kicking in 2020?